What's going on guys? This is Knasty3090 here. Welcome back to another Miami Marlins franchise episode 23. We're going the offseason. We won the World Series two out of three years. So I'm, my goal is to make this a dynasty. If we win three out of four, I think that's a dynasty. So in the offseason, we got some decisions to make. Take a look at the budget. And Ciarte is a free agent. We have his replacement, Donovan Bryant. I'm not sure if we'll be able to keep him. Probably not. And then we do have guys... Like, uh, where is he? He's going to be up. Oh, Billy Bomb's a free agent. We can't keep I mean, we can't keep him. But what will happen is if we lose him, we won't get any draft picks from him. And then David Dahl could be a free agent as well. So let's get into the offseason, see what happens. All right. Anyone retire? No one from our team retired? No Hall of Fame inductees. All right. Exclusive free agents. So NCRT, we can't get a draft pick. He only wants $8 million a year. I'm going to just... I'm worried of him accepting it. And how much does Donovan Bryant want? $22 million, we're going to let him walk. So we're going to lose them both. I'm not going to put the qualifying offer on NCRT because I want to be able to have flexibility in terms of payroll. Dollars accept exercises his option, so he's making $28 million. He's back. Barrios has exercised his option, making 30 million. So they're both back. So right now, our budget is pretty solid. As you can see, after next year, we have some big free agents. And in terms of outfield, our new center fielder is going to be Rafael Reyes. You look at him, he's probably going to lead off. I mean, I'm not sure if he'll lead off, but he could. Um, I'm just going to add him to the major right now. And we do have guys like Jeremy Diaz who are ready for the show almost. Probably one more year of Dahl. And then we have Burnett as well. Um, but And then we have Evan White too. We have so many outfielders. But we don't need to worry about that. So actually this offseason is not going to be too, too hard. We just need to figure out second base. We can just stick with um, McKnight, which is probably what I'll do. Give him another chance. I mean, the fielding's there. You just hope he hits better than 217 next year. So, let's go a couple more days. And uh, let's take a look at arbitration. So, we got... Oh, oh, Bomb's on a free agent. I thought he was. So, this is actually good. Um, we can get a draft pick for him. I'm just going to give him a one-year deal, 3.6. Sure. Um, he's not going to be the closer. I just want him to know that. So, I have to pay him a little bit more. But we keep him. And then he will be... Free agent, Magnus Sierra. I'm probably going to let Magnus go. He's an elite bunter. Holy cap. We have so many guys who can play the outfield. How much is he going to want a year? Two million we can find cheaper. And Alex Jackson as a catcher. I don't think we need him because we have several other catchers. Yeah, we got Banfield. Uh, if I can do Portillo if I want a catcher as like a, he's just a guy. So I'm going to let Alex Jackson, or Alex Jackson walk. Hammond, I don't want to use a backup, but he's getting really good. So, there's that's going to tend to contracts now. Charles Hudson, after his rookie year, he had a 3.83 ERA. So, a five, ooh, he wants a five-year deal. All right, well, let's do it. Matthew Bynum, he pitched 10 innings. So I don't want to give him a lot. That's a really friendly deal. Uh, I won't do five. He's 29. Let's do three years, and that's not going to be under a million a year. Oh, well, that's great. Um, Rafael Reyes. Let's just give him a five-year deal now. Just lock him in. Ten million. Perfect. Um, Jeremy Diaz is just one of those outfielders. We'll just sign him to a deal. The rest of these guys, I'm just going to sign him. There's not really much need to do. You guys to see this. And then we'll continue with the offseason trying to uh, just finish out the roster. Okay, so those offers were made. And I'm just seeing some issues right now. Uh, there's some big-name players who are up for the Rule 5. So our rotation... Right now is Barrios, Sixto, Alfonso, Groom, and Hudson. I like that as our rotation. Um, I think Hadfield is eligible for the Rule 5 draft. I want to add him because it's great per nines. Uh, relievers, we got Irizarry, Roger Ramirez, Keith, Baum, Brister. We have tons, so we don't have to worry about that. Closers, Hammond's eligible for the Rule 5 draft. We'll add him. Um, I'm just going to designate this guy for assignment, Jackson, because we're not going to keep him, so that adds a spot. Uh, I don't have to worry about those. Second base, Kohler is not eligible. Third base, I know those guys. I'm not too worried. Same with Short. Diaz might be eligible. He is. So add him to the 40 man. These guys, uh, Reggie's the only one I'd be worried about. He's not eligible. And in right, Burnett was eligible. I would like to keep him. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, Gonzalez is a closer. And we're currently at 40. So I need to. Who was the other guy? We're not, oh, Sierra. I'll designate him for assignment. And I'll click create a spot for Gonzalez. 
There we go. Our 40 man is full. Um, I don't think we need to do a whole lot, really. Our budget's pretty solid, but next offseason, like, Dahl and Barrels will come off it. We actually might have some money now. zarati has got one more year after that. Same with Sixto. Like, so we have two years with this core. <laughs> Tippett, luckily, is still under team control. He's expensive. Seager's got three years, but, um, yeah. Kybert Ruiz is a Yankee. Okay, Steve Boone's a Rocky. Just no one go to the NL East. Lucas Sims is a Brave, going back to the Braves. Nolan Jones is a National, all right. Altavilla is going to the Cardinals. Cabrian Hayes is going to the Cubs. Medina is a Blue Jay. Rosenthal is a Mariner. I want to see what NCRT got. Phil Mattoon or Matten goes to the Yankees. Panoyan is going to the Mets. But where it, Chris Paddock is going to the Blue Jays. Alec Hansen is the Rocky. Donovan Bryant got a six-year, only $15 million a year. That is expensive. He helped us win, so I'm happy. Go get your money in San Diego, my man. Arenado is a Blue Jay. There we go. Brady Singer is a Rocky. Justin Anderson to twin. And Andres Jimenez is a Brewer. Sessa is a Yan Yankees. are loading up on relievers. We already did the 40-man. Robert is a National. Has NCRT not signed? Hunter Harvey is a Pirate. Dansby's a White Sox. Trent Thornton's a Royal. That's some big names. Manny Margot is an Angel. Staying in Los Angeles. Aston Russell's a Mariner. Vilma's a Yankee. Man, Yankees are signing a lot of players. Austin Dean's a Ranger. Gabby Guerrero for Jack Flaherty and Kyle Martin. Jesse Winker is a Twin. Zach Granite is a Ray. Jeremy Montgomery's a Twin. Did Enciarte, is he still a free agent? Yeah, good thing we did not give him the qualifying offer. He would have 100% accepted it. Rule 5 draft, we can't even take anyone. Um, I'm just seeing if anyone, any one of our players got picked. So far, I don't see any prominent names. We got all the guys I wanted to keep, but there are other guys we couldn't. We can't protect everyone. David Bodie for Albert Amara. And uh, it's funny, he got traded. For, two Cubs got traded for each other, and Kyle Kazik, but neither of them are on the Cubs. Tyler Austin's a Cardinal. Michael Baez is a Diamondback. Garrett Cole is a Dodger. Kiermaier is a Red. All right, so let's go to, um, let's look at contract extensions. Barrios, Dahl, they're both pretty old. Bomb, I'm going to let walk. Crowell, I would like to give him, a, like, a five-year deal. Oh, he wants a five-year deal. There we go, $10 million a year. I'll do that. Um, these guys, I'm not expecting. Barrios maybe, but I know it's just going to be the max deal, so there's no point in going after a contract extension. Dom, I'm going to let probably walk. So the rest of that I really am not too worried about. So Our budget's pretty good, and next year adds another $10 million with, uh, where is he? He's making only $1.5 million this year, but then $10 million for the next five years after that. I love ha doing this. Like I love being able to do the contract extensions. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I am, but I am. So let's go to the regular season. Braxton Garrison, I'm on the 25, Muter, all right, whatever. Um, Barrio, Sixto, Alfonso, Groom, Hudson, Tyler is a long man. Yeah, that's good. I guess Bynum will be in the, um, well, how did Arturo, Arturo pitch last year? 47 inks, not great, but not awful. Gonzalez is a closer. I'm going to call it Bynum. Pedro's a starter. And Hatfield is, man, we got some good starters. Um. So let's send down Willie Perez. We don't have a lefty. We and Bynum is a lefty. So let's fix that. He'll clear waivers. They always do at the beginning of the year. Pedlam got sent down, but he's 32. Um, Bynum is only 29. He's a little younger. There we go. We'll call him up if we need him. There we go. Well, there's that one lefty. Let's take a look at the lineup. They got Reyes leading off. I'm gonna have McKnight at second. But I'm going to have Acuna bat second. Oops, Acuna, Tippett, Seeger, Dahl, Zarate, and Diaz is our DH. That's fine. All right. So let's put Acuna, Seeger, Dahl, Zarate, McKnight, Crowell. So McKnight bat eighth, actually. Um, all right. Like one nice little thing would have been just a 
A small feature would be go a long way, copy and paste lineups. MLB 20 or patch it in? Um, I'm not being greedy asking for that, am I? All right, so there's the lineup. W let's see what we are ranked at. Number one, first in conduct, third in power, first in pitching, seventh in defense, sixth in speed. This team's a wagon. Um, top prospects, what do we got? We have number seven in Tommy Hammond. Looks pretty damn good. An amazing arm. Uh, what else do we got? Not a whole lot. Prince Burnett is at 38. There's a couple closers and a starter. 41 through 43. And that is it. So, next episode, we'll do the regular season. See if we can. Um, you know what we're going to do? Because this episode's going kind of short, let's do the season. Let's do it all in this one episode. Let's do, let's, we'll do it all. This is a shorter one. The offseason was pretty boring, I'm not going to lie. Let's just do the season. Why not? Um, let's get into it, guys. Um... Hopefully, injuries aren't a big issue. This guy's cleared waivers. Auto fix that. And let's just make sure the lineups are good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, uh, right on. Now, we're not for the best start, but I mean, we have so much freaking talent. Bomb's out for a few days. He's back. Fonz is up for a few days. Diaz is up for a few days. All right, now we're starting to win. I mean, we should win 100 games easily, I feel like. And right now, we're not, but... I, only thing... Oh, my God. Ryan Tippett sustained a torn labrum is up for six months? He's like our... Oh, my God. That sucks. He's in 293 with 15 home runs in 41 games. Fuck. Permission to say shit. Alright, so we need to call up someone new. Diaz can play first, I guess. So we're going to call up our guess. Or Neilis just to be our um, backup first baseman. Fuck, that, that sucks. Let's Evan White can play first. Oh, he can play first. Let's put Evan White in there. Because he's only 23, uh, 24. I'm going to fix the lineup. I just want to um get them all in there. Something bad there. That freaking sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. I just hope it's not career-ending. And um, they took Reyes out. That's cool. Put that him back in, who's actually doing really well, and they just took him out. <laughs> yeah, Reyes right now is in 322 with 10 stolen bases. Oh. All right. I just hope it's not career ending. Also, we have won like 11 games in a row. We have won 11 in a row, exactly. Let's see if we can keep that going. Win it for Tippett. And there goes that. <sighs> Damn, that sucks. All right. Um, we're at the draft. We have the 30th pick, a competitive balance pick, which I don't understand. Um, so we have the 30th and 31st pick. Let's see if we get any studs. Um, ooh, an outfielder. Ooh, looks good. I'll probably take Daniel Travis. Let's just see a guy. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take him. He's only uh, 21 as well. Got another pick, which I love. Um, ooh, a catcher. Okay, I'll take a chance on you, John Buckner. All right. Moving on to round dos. And not a lot of players left. Like, I'll take some... Uh, I'm going to take shots in the dark. Why not? Let's, let's go nuts. As long as I can find guys I like. And none of these guys I really like. Okay, he looks good. Gary Tomlinson. All of them are like relievers or like stars who didn't have good per nines. This is a pretty weak draft in terms of depth. There could be some, it could be really uh, heavy at the top. But right now it doesn't look too, too strong. But we'll see how we do. Maybe we just drafted some studs. I don't know. All right, round four. 
guess we'll take Chester Black, even though I think that was a guy who had terrible per nines, but I mean, in round four, can't get too picky. And um, Acosta, okay, another guy. I mean, these are just shots in the dark we're constantly taking. But you just hope maybe on like two of them you hit, and if the rest you don't, I mean, they're late picks. I guess we'll take the second baseman. Casey Park could be an elite fielder. I mean, the last pick in the draft, that's not too bad. Okay, 90 potential. That's not too bad. He's 21 years old. Good durability. He's already an elite fielder with great speed, or really good speed. There's some power there. He's actually really toolsy. 69 overall, which is really nice. Um, Buckner, good overall, 71 overall. Not a great fielder, but pretty good durability. I kind of wish it was the other way around because this guy's probably a backup catcher. So if he had good fielding and low durability, well, that's great for a backup catcher. Uh, he's 21 years old, 71 overall. It's pretty solid. Tomlinson, he's a 72 potential. That wasn't a good pick. These are just shots in the dark. Montalvo has an 85 potential. He's 22 years old, 68 overall. That was a good pick. The rest of these guys were 78, 74, and a 70. So nothing too crazy there. Um, let's see if there are any crazy high potentials. Nothing yet. I know the A's had the number one pick. I think I went by them, though. Yeah, what are the A's? Oh, he, no, I didn't go by them. There they are. Chris, that's a terrible number one pick. 91 potential, 18 years old at 54 overall. This was just a crap draft. All right, let's continue with the season. Damn, that sucks at Tippett. I just hope it's not career-ending, man. Some of you guys were saying keep doing this franchise until Tippett retires. <laughs> it might end soon then. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but <laughs> Jonathan India got traded. It's just, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, play with injuries on because it makes it more challenging and more realistic. There you go. All right, let's take a look. We're seven games up in the division. Let's see who made the all-star team. Uh, Lucas Sims made it, but he's not on our team. I'm just, I just remember seeing his name from the offseason. None of our starters. Bynum made it. He was like a last-minute player, and he has a 1.39 ERA, a 105 whip. Irizarry, he's not having the greatest year. 3.52 ERA, but he made it. Billy Baum made it. <laughs> Holy crap, I just realized something. Billy Baum made it. Joe Keith made it. And Brister. We have one, two, three, four, five relievers make it. That's incredible. Chris Oki, that name sounds familiar. But we didn't have him in this franchise. Um, no first baseman. No second baseman. I mean, yeah, we can't have many other positions just because. We have Acuna. Ooh. He's hitting 383. <laughs> he might hit 400. Are you freaking kidding me? 383? Reyes is in 275 home runs. 354 on base. He gets on base. He steals bases. Not the worst leadoff man. We saw Acuna, 19 bombs. Seager, 287, 16 home runs. Dahl's having a solid year. 299, 13 jacks. Evan White, 295, 9 home runs. He's an 89 overall now. Not a bad replacement for Tippett. Zarate, he's now a 99 overall. Um, Kind of like the sum of his part. Sum of all part. Uh, you add everything together, he's a good player. His durability stinks, but he's a great fielder. 306 average, 405 on base, 498 slugging. Not bad at all. McKnight, 231, 9 home runs. Does play elite defense. Diaz, 360 in limited at bats. And Crowell in 237. Average is low, but with that elite defense. Just hit me a little bit more home runs. I'm okay with it. Barrios, a 549 ERA. Sixto's been great. Alfonso's been really good. Groom's kind of struggled. Hudson's been great. Uh, Artulo's been amazing in AAA. Um, so if there's an injury, that's who we're going to call up. And there probably will be a massive injury. Yeah, I know. Don't have to remind me that Tippett's hurt. Like, that's just like, hey, Kate Astor, you know you're, uh, oh my god, it's a little, I thought it was one to two months, one to two weeks. Um. Hey, you, you're like your favorite player. Uh, yeah, he's hurt. I'm gonna call up Hammond because I don't want to add another person to the 40 man. So, Hammond, 
is actually going to start. I want to see how he does in limited, just a week or two. Let's see how he performs in the majors. Be interesting to see. We'll send him down after this. That was really short, actually. How do you do? O oh, fifty nine. Okay, not the best. We have to send him back down. Okay. All right, Herb Tau's up for a day or two. He's back. So are we going to win 100? Oh, we're going to win 100 games. Oh, man, that just sucks, man, that injury. McKnight's out one to two weeks. I just auto-fix that. He's not even an important part of our lineup. He's great defense, and he'll be back for the playoffs. Let's just make sure they didn't screw up the lineup. Now he is back, and they did. <laughs> Acuna's in 368 now. Um... Why do they need to have McKnight bat second when he's garbage? Like, I want him batting ninth. But, like, no, we want him batting second. Don't understand that logic. Okay, I almost want to put the pitcher spot in front of him. Like, thank God he's an elite fielder because he cannot hit. All right, let's just make sure we're going to uh, win the division. Seven games up on the fills. We do play them right here. So as long as we don't get, like, swept and we won three out of four. Okay, we won the division. And we won 102 games with arguably the best hitter in baseball out for the year. Reyes, 298, 10 home runs with a 24-year-old rookie, 34 stolen bases. We got caught eight times. Not the best on base percentage. 378 on base. 376, excuse me, on base percentage. 457 slugging. OPS of 833. War of 6.1, because he's a really good fielder. Um, he should be rookie of the year. Acuna hit 365. 33 home runs. Still 23 bags. He had 209 hits. 443 on base. 654 slugging. OPS of over 1,000. What a year. War of 9.4. Seager, 308. 32 home runs. He got his 2,000th career hit this year. He has 348 career home runs. Career average of 312. He is starting to go down. He is uh, got two more years. Dahl in his last year with us potentially 308 average, 21 home runs. Most likely he will. It will be our last year because we got like I mean we can play Evan White in the outfield, who uh, this year hit 266 with 18 home runs. We also have Jeremy Diaz. We also have oh there's another guy, but yeah, Lewin Diaz can't play outfield. He hit 336 with 10 home runs as like our DH, one of the guys off the bench. Zarate. Now, he only he can't play like a lot. He plays 140 games every year. He's consistent at that. 14 home runs, 302 average, 405 on base, 477 slugging. Uh, yeah, he was amazing. Crowell, 252, 11 home runs, 10 stolen bases. His war was 3.1 because of that defense. And then McKnight hit 222. He did hit 16 home runs, so 304 on base. His war was 1.8. Take a look at pitching. Hopefully, Barrios pitched better. Not good, but 4-3-1, he did improve. Sixto was really good at 304. Alfonso with a 4 year A. Groom a 3-7-3. And Hudson with a 3-1-5. Hudson has not had any injuries. We were worried about that. Remember when we drafted him because his durability was poor? He's been healthy. Um, so that's nice. Tyler didn't pitch great as a long man. Baum pitched well. Or all right. Same with Brister. Bynum was great as our only lefty. 13 wins, too. Keith was great. Ramirez was good. Irizarry was all right. He had uh, 45 saves. Not too bad. Let's take a look at some awards. It should be Acuna. He got MVP. Brandon Nemo somehow has turned into freaking Barry Bonds in this franchise. <laughs> uh, makes no sense. Um, Mitch Keller got Cy and Jordan Montgomery. Okay. Acuna got batting title. And Devers, my boy Devers. Reliever, we didn't even get reliever of the year. We had five all-stars. And there you go. Rookie of the year, Kevin Urban. 20, really? 239 with 13 home runs? That's crock of shit. <laughs> Malcolm Nunez. Okay, he actually looks pretty good. Our guy was clearly better. Uh, Gold Glove is Arade. Probably got a couple. Crowell, Seager, and Dahl. Silver Sluggers, Otani. Uh, of course, I'm going to get that. We got, okay, Acuna, and that's it. So, um, top prospects. Do we have any big ones? Tommy Hammond's at five. 
We probably have some jump up, I feel like. Easton is at 27, a closer. He's an 80 overall. Enrique Gonzalez is at 79. He's at 28. Uh, Pedra is at 77 overall. He's at number 31. And that's probably it. That is it. So, take a look at standings. 844 runs scored. What an offense. Um, are we playing the National League? We had the uh, best record in the National League. Ames are the best record in the American League. So, we will be playing the winner of the... Phillies in the Mets. We're playing against a team in our division. That will be the next episode, guys. If you did want me to combine these two episodes into two, like the offseason regular season, if the offseason's quiet, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if not, let me know as well. If you did enjoy this, drop a like. Sub if you're new. Talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.